Hello and welcome back to my channel Health Tutorial. Today I am going to discuss about single phase full grease inverter. So in this video I am going to tell you how to simulate single phase full grease inverter. Okay. So I hope you people have understanding about single phase full grease inverter. So I am not going to discuss in depth okay, about the concept. But I will discuss in very uh, simple manner so that uh, you will be uh, re uh, revisit your conceptual understanding about single phase full bridge inverter. This is the single phase H bridge inverter, or you can say uh, full bridge inverter. So in this, you can able to see that S1, S2, S3, S4, all these are the switches. So this can be your IGPT or MOSFET. So how it will work? So very easily you can understand that at a time, okay, at a time S1 and S2 will be switched on, okay. So it will give you positive up cycle of your output voltage. And when S3 and S4 will be switched on, then you will get negative up cycle of your output voltage. So in this fashion, actually, the single phase full bridge inverter works. This is the output voltage formula and from this formula you can able to see that in the single phase hub in the single phase full bridge inverter only we will have the odd harmonics okay no even harmonics will be present in the voltage okay of the output and this is the voltage waveform set okay so you can see this is when switch s1 and s2 is close okay then we will get positive half cycle of the output voltage and when s3 and s4 are closed okay or you can say turned on then you will get negative half cycle of the output voltage Okay, so in this fashion, actually, we will get the output terminal voltage. Okay, and the current waveform will change according to the load, and that we will see in the simulation. So now I will start my MATLAB, and there I will simulate a single phase full bridge inverter where you will be able to see how I am going to simulate a single phase full bridge inverter. So let's Open your MATLAB software. Ready with my MATLAB Simulink software. Okay, I have opened one Simulink window. So now you can see this is the uh, model which I discussed in my previous video about single phase half bridge inverter. So this single phase half bridge inverter very easily we can convert into single phase full bridge inverter okay so here you can see this is the controller so we have to make some changes in the controller and as well as we have to make some changes into the plant so how we can do that so just i will go inside the plant okay and you can see this is the half bridge inverter so now i will make it into full bridge inverter so just i will copy and paste this one okay this is one leg so i will paste here okay and i will give the name i will change this name okay i will make it four for simplicity and this one two okay now i will make the connection before making the connection i will remove this ground okay it will not require here also this part will not require and i will connect like this okay only one source required in full bridge inverter so now connect this one Okay, I will connect again. 
now it is connected this one also we have to make this connection and now this will be connected here okay so this is the load i will make it first rl load sorry r load okay so you can see this is p1 this is p2 so we need more okay just wait i will go inside again this should be p4 and it will be here and this one should be here okay so this is p3 means pulse 3 will come here this is p1 pulse 1 this is pulse 4 okay and this one is pulse 2 okay so now the plant is ready okay one so i will make it two okay for simplicity just i am making uh, correct indexing okay this is called fourth indexing so one two this one should be three okay and this one four okay so now the plant is ready so we will go back to the main model okay so here you can see we will require four pulses but from the controller we are good getting only two pulses okay so what we have to do we have to make it into four pulses i am removing this memory okay because now i am not discussing anything about dead time period okay so when i will discuss about dead time period okay in the later videos then i will tell why i have used this memory in my previous video so now what is the fundamental concept about single phase full breeze inverter that the switch s1 and s2 should be turned on at a time okay and switch 3 and switch 4 will be turned on at a time that means p1 and p2 should be same pulse okay and p3 and p4 should be same pulse so how we can make it so you can see okay i will cut it and i will paste here so this is p1 and p2 okay and again i will paste here so this is p3 okay and again i will copy and paste here so this is p4 so now you can understand this is p1 okay p2 p3 p4 okay so now my controller is also ready okay so this is will be connected p1 to p1 p2 to p2 p3 to p3 and p4 to p4 now if you want to visualize these pulses okay you can connect like this so this one will visualize p1 this one for p2 and okay sorry And this one p4 sorry p3 and from here we can take p4 okay so all these four pulses we can visualize inside this so now everything is ready i will run the simulation and you will be able to see the voltage waveform and the current waveform for a resistive load so just run it now you can see okay very easily you can see this is the output voltage shown in red color and the blue color is showing the load current okay and it is you can say sinusoidal sorry not sinusoidal but alternating voltage as well as current that means your design is perfect means uh, your single phase full bridge inverter working well
now i want to check this pulses okay so to see this pulses i will take four win viewport okay and you can see again i am running the simulation and you can see the s1 means p1 p2 samples okay p3 and p4 samples okay i will change some load value okay uh, means uh, uh, this r load okay i will make into rl load then rlc load before that i will show one thing that is very important to tell you here so if i i, I give 0.5 so you are getting this type of uh, uh, output voltage okay and if i will write here 0 0.9 okay and if you will do this simulation then you will be able to see that this output voltage waveform is changing okay that means we can change the uh, output voltage or output current of an inverter okay by changing the reference voltage amplitude okay reference signal amplitude if i will make it little bit smaller like 0.3 okay you will be able to see how the voltage is changing okay this is how output voltage is changing also output current is also changing so this reference signal which is given to your carrier signal that actually decide the controllability of your single phase half bridge or full bridge inverter so now i will change this load into rl load okay okay i'm taking this default value only whatever the default value is coming and i will run this you will be able to see okay how this current waveform is being changed okay for voltage voltage will not impacted but you can see the output current is being being changed because of uh, presence of the inductance so similarly if i will make it is into rlc load okay rlc load i will going i am going to make it okay so okay so you can see how this inverter will behave okay this is the current how it is drawing from the source so in this way you can see uh, different possibility okay by simulating your single phase full bridge inverter okay now one thing i am going to tell you this type of inverter is also called h bridge inverter because it looks like h okay if now you want to do the tsd analysis then already i told how to check the tsd analysis okay so that i told in my previous video so if you have not seen my previous video which is about single phase half bridge inverter i am requesting you to visit that video hope this video will be helpful for you okay uh, if you are working first time in matlab or you are thinking for your big project okay you want to use matlab as your base simulink environment for your psd or for your mtech project then i will request whatever the things i'm going to tell you in this video series all this you watch and believe me guys you will not you will not uh, face any problem while you will represent or while you will design or model your real model in matlab simulink so hope you will like this video so thank you for watching bye